My concept map is um, from Patricia Lair and Mary Jean Smith. It's um, the nurse's role in story theory. Um, their role is basically to describe and explain the story as the context for a nurse to person health promoting process. And the way they came about uh, discovering or coming to conclusion for developing this theory was based on them doing their own research. Uh, one did research uh, with pregnant teens and the other did their research on patients recovering from cardiac event. When they sat down and discussed their own personal research, uh, they realized that there was a connection between the two and that was through storytelling. They noticed that with both populations that once they told their stories, it helped them to embrace their health challenge and it helped them to lead to acceptance. Acceptance of these health circumstances energized new directions of healing. As we see here, um, the first phase is gathering the story. This is when the nurse gathers the story from the patient uh, during an examination or admission process leads to uh, the next phase is reconstructing the story. And this is when the nurse um, composes a reconstructed story from what they've told them, what the patient has shared. So the patient starts telling them the story of how they got this illness, what led up to this um, condition, and so on and so forth. That then leads to phase three, which is connecting it to the literature. And this is where uh, the nurse will begin to connect um, the story that the patient shared with them to a health-related issue, and they start relating that to the literature for the health challenge. Then goes to naming the complicated health challenge. And th when you're naming it, this is basically um, what matters most to the patient. So how they view or their view of this health challenge for them. And this is where they begin to, uh, you know, have accurate reflection of what it means to them. And then the fifth phase is when they describe the story plot. And this includes issues that are critical to understanding the whole story or a description of the unfolding story qualities. It kind of requires a sense of the whole story and how it has evolved. This leads to phase six, which is identifying movement toward resolving. And this entails action described by the storyteller that lead toward resolving the complicated health challenge. And then the last phase is gathering additional stories. This is where the nurse kind of relates similar patients going through similar situations and what it is, that, you know, how, how they all relate, how all these stories kind of come together. Then to the right, we have sort of like three major concepts uh, to story theory. Uh, the first is similar to the beginning there where you develop uh, a story plot. And that's where you connect with self in relation. Uh, the patient begins to develop that story. And then the intentional dialogue. This is the actual complicating health challenge where they're you know describing and talking about what led to this challenge and then it leads to this third part which is creating ease and this is when their uh, patients able to move toward resolving this health challenge to them you see these little arrows um, they represent waves that spread across all the concepts in the theory it represents energy that is essential to story sharing through intentional dialogue. The three ellipses represent a vortex of continually evolving process, encompassing all the theory, concepts, and associated method dimensions. The links between the essential elements demonstrate the energy laden integrated whole. So in, in each of those phases, they're sharing the, the different energy from the patient, from the nurse, and then also from the patient um, getting to the place of, of resolution. And the reason why I chose this nurse theorist um, was because I love the way she helps patients get through 
their complicated health challenge and how she helps them to reach a resolution. I apply this theory in my nursing practice with patients before and after their surgeries in talking with them about how they feel with the health challenge and how they will overcome their health challenge. Also, um, I see this as a manager when I spend some of my time counseling my employees through their health challenges. For example, the employees may have a parent in hospice and they need help in getting through a resolution. Or their children may be diagnosed with cancer and they need help uh, just discussing you know, how they're going to manage and deal with it. And this leads to the meta paradigm, which is person, environment, health, and nursing. In, in this um, specific story theory, the patient enters into a dialogue with the nurse. And then in the environment, the patient has to deal with the challenges in the internal environment, which are those thoughts and those fears. Um, they also have to deal with the um, external environment, which might be having to work or um, you know, what are they going to do? How are they going to support their home, etc.? cetera, so similar things like that. And then for health, it's what matters most about the complicating health challenge to the patient. Um, and as far as uh, the nursing part, it's um, the nurses, the nurse engages the patient in helping them to head in the direction of a resolution of the health challenge. Some of the key concepts are connecting with self in relation of, again, developing that story plot, telling that story. Um, the intentional dialogue or the complicating health challenge, um, that's when the nurse moves to the past to find out a little bit about the situation. And then the nurse will move to the future in helping the patient uh, describe hopes and dreams related to the health challenge. And then the creating ease, and that's when helping the patient to have an understanding of the whole story, beginning to connect and, and, and coming to a resolution of this health challenge, even if it's only for a moment. Uh, this theory is based on three theoretical assumptions. One is that people change as they interrelate with their world uh, in a vast array of flowing connected dimensions. It's just showing, you know, similar to Martha Rogers, that people are interrelating and changing with as they uh, relate with their environments. The second is that people live in an expanded present moment where past and future events are transformed here and now. And then people experience meaning as resonating awareness in the creative unfolding of human potential. Um, the, the last point or proposition is that as we become more technologically advanced, the stories are still important. They still remain important. Everyone, all, everyone has a story. Um, everyone shares a story and stories are important um, to the care of patients so that they can express what it is that they're feeling. And these are my sources. Thank you.